MC Dos Luis Nogueira Serrano, President of the European Bouet Society, and we are here at Homme Dojo in Valencia, Spain. And today I would like to share with you some knowledge and details about the scenes, the sequences that you have watched on the beginning of this video. Uh, this scene uh, belongs to what is called Kogi. This Kogi is composed by two itograms. The first one, Ko, comes from Oto Dure, that means uh, a visit or call. And the second one, the Ki, that is pronounced Gi on the Kogi, uh, means danger. Then we are dealing about uh, dangerous uh, visits when the Lord was uh, visited by, uh, by several samurai, mainly high-class samurai that they were called, as we have seen in other videos, Hatamoto, that they were people of trust. But of course, in some cases, uh, this was uh, recognized as a dangerous visit or a situation that it could be dangerous for the Lola. And then the Sugonim, that they were the protectors, the, the bodyguards, if we could say, we could say in, this, uh, in this way, uh, need to defend the Lord on these circumstances. Uh, remember that Hatamoto, as we have explained before in other videos, they were high class people, they were daimyo, they were, um, they were, uh, people of trust of the, of the main lord, the main uh, host of the visit, then uh, they have the capability, they, have, they were able to, to bring their weapons to the, to the meeting. Then on this circumstance we could find uh, that uh, of course the risk for the lord is higher than in other circumstances that all the people attending these kind of meetings, it's, uh, uh, it's without weapons and w without carrying the weapons that they uh, usually have. Then in this case we have to defend on this circumstance. This Kogi has the particularity between other studies of this kind that uh, they were performed in the classical academies in order to, to, to teach these, uh, these special samurai, these special warriors, that the, the people that in the role of attacker, of betrayer, of traitor, used to say yoi as a way to be prepared because he will perform the betrayal, it doesn't matter when or how, but he will do it. Then this was uh, what you have seen on the scenes. The, the uke will shout out uh, loud, uh, yoi, meaning that he is aware or he is prepared for performing the betrayal. The other one, the one that will perform the role of law, don't need it in this case on the scenes you haven't seen them, and the Sugonin will be aware of what was happening around. When the attacker tried to perform the, the betrayal, the Sugonin, the, def uh, the defender of the, uh, of the law, needs to react in a very, very dangerous, uh, in a very dangerous reaction that uh, my goal today is to explain about. Then, uh, I think that the best way is to explain uh, full details when with, with a partner, in this case Oscar Sam, please, Sam, please. Yes. Uh, the first thing, uh, Oscar Sam uh, is wearing the Daiso Katana and Atonto because I want to to show that uh, he could perform the betrayal with any of the weapons, with, uh, with whatever, the way he wants. For example, if he has some kind of hidden weapon, he could use to. And it doesn't matter what uh, weaponry he is wearing, because remember, a Hatamoto, it's a person of high-class samurai, a person, of, a people of, of trust on this uh, gathering, uh, could wear any kind of weaponry uh, with himself. And in this case, please uh, remain sit on Seisa position. The first, uh, the basis of this study is the way to locate on the, on to place ourselves in this kind of situations. 
we have to remember that the law will be in front of him. Maybe it's this kind of uh, dangerous visit, the law that it's a hanko, it's a, a higher rank or a daimyo, but it's in front, will be in that place, maybe offering a tea ceremony or maybe dealing some, uh, some issues with the, with the trader. Then the sugosa used to remain on these different circumstances, used to be a side. Why? Because he has to cover not only what is a dangerous or a risky uh, person, also what is behind the law. Then I have, if I, if I am the sugonin, I have to watch around what is happening behind the law. Then I have to control also here. Then from here, when he says in this kind of exercise, of course, in reality, it won't happen that he will uh, notice that he will be going to uh, to, to to betray any of any, the Lord or anyone. But in the study, he will uh, start up Lord uh, Yoy, please, please, Yoy. Now I am aware of the exercise to do it. On this case, we are in a regular meeting. For example, I this could be a gathering. Maybe when he is dealing some uh, something. When he tries maybe to take out a sword or take out any kind of blade, I will turn and I will strike with both hands on the eye and at the same time uh, striking very, very strong on the, on the cervical area here. This is a very strong point. From here, what we will do is to grab here one, having control with the right hand, the right arm, but it's the one to, to handle the, the weapons. And from here, I will take also the other one. This is a very strong control, uh, especially if I grab myself a knife uh, try to join uh, my both hands. Making this strong grip here, I go to the ground. And from here, I remain keeping control. And of course, I could knee over the head and strike on the face one, two, as a way to keep in and restraining the, uh, uh, the, the enemy or the traitor here. This is one of the characteristics. Then we could see that the, uh, the twice strike, striking with both hands, is a very classical way. There were specific ways to strike. We could perform, uh, we couldn't perform, for example, something like here because Maybe he is aware and he will, if this kind of strike, he will uh, block with the, with, the, with, the, with the elbow here and also pull thrown and protect the other. Maybe uh, if he is aware, he could fall here and I will reach anything and he's prepared now to cut me and cut the load. Then uh, this won't perform very well. This is a very powerful strike. This is a powerful strike, this is powerful strike, some kind of strike also tearing the eye, trying to take out the eyes from here, from here. Th these are uh, very classical, but some, some other were not interesting. In fact, when the, this Sugonin used to, lo uh, to lose the, the master, to lose the lord if he died, then used to become running. This Ronin uh, knew how to attack on different situations because the, uh, they have been paid for, to defend other lords or defend other people, maybe uh, mercants or any other as a bodyguard. Then they know how to defend on this circumstance. I mean, this one was very classical for them to do the following things. For example, if he tries to strike with both hands, a double strike on my, on my here, for example, here, that it could seem that it's a very powerful strike. But they used to defend these kind of circumstances with very soft or very gentle movements, but at the same time very efficient, like this way. For example, this will stop. Then they have several ways to defend here when the strike is going to the side, here, when the strike is going to the face, 
here when the strike is going upward, here when the strike is going aside, for example, if you try to hit me on this side, for example, here, to the other side, here, and they have the capability to control here with very powerful movement. Then, this is a very particular interesting study, the way to strike on this, uh, on this cool key technique. All the position that you have seen is when the, uh, when the, uh, when the host is preparing a key ceremony on that side, the log here, and the, uh, the, the other one, the, the, the Hatamoto, it's in front of him on this side. As I, have, I, have, as I am a Suguni, a bodyguard, I couldn't be capable to, to stay in the same position like, like, uh, to the Hatamoto. Then I need to stand on this position that is giving the conditions to have um, um, a higher uh, position because I cannot, uh, I cannot be served on the tea ceremony. And from here I have conditions to perform several techniques. For example, striking here with both and attacking and having control here. For example, having control here at the same time, pressing, having control. For example, I have some a very interesting uh, technique. For example, when he is here, we could bring the, the neck with an extension here, my uh, my trunk it's blocking, and from here I have the control here. It's very powerful. From here I could go to that side, having control of both wrists here, stepping all the way to the back. From here striking, striking back into the side, and having this strong control with this kind of kogi technique. Kogi, it's, as we have seen, a very particular study that is especially from this Sugonin, or Hogosa. Hogosa is usually employed when the Sugonin became running. Then uh, this Sugonin or Hogosa were specialists on defending a law, protecting a law against uh, the most, uh, the most uh, uh, ingenious uh, and, uh, and had uh, betrayals that could be performed because in this case the, the other one will be uh, with weaponry in, in here and it's a situation that used to be a person of trust then they have to be uh, to observe carefully what happens around and be uh, also aware uh, to defend the law against uh, betrayal that could be performed in a very fast situation. Then, these are some basic details about this Kogi uh, sequence, this Kogi study. I hope that you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for uh, watching our channel, to subscribe on our channel, and please keep watching our videos because you will be, it will be updated very soon. Thank you very much.